Python versus Java. These two languages are super popular, and today we are going to find out which programming languages is best for you. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, hello, hello. My name is Vicky and you're interested about web development or you're currently learning how to code, this might be the perfect channel for you. Maybe consider subscribing. I've done a lot of researches and I've asked a lot of Python and Java developers in the industry. So when it comes to choosing the perfect one for you, I think there are a few categories that you have to consider. The first one is the easiness. Like, is it easy for you to learn? Is it easy for you to try to learn this language? The second thing is job opportunities, right? Like, do you get to find jobs and do you get to find different opportunities in learning this language? The third thing is what's your intentions? What do you want to leverage this language to get you into creating? The last thing but not the least thing is which one do you learn first? you eventually is going to learn different programming languages but which one should you really prefer to learn first so let's dive into the first section which is the easiness is it easy to learn these two languages python is probably easier to learn and the reason for that is because python has a easier syntax to read python is more dynamic than java so let me just pull up my computer over here so as you can see right now we have an array here in python and we're trying to print every single element in this array so in java it's a little bit different um, in order to do that we probably need to declare a list of strings and put three strings values in it we can't mix the type in java in an array and the code is not going to compile so there's a difference here so that's very interesting right so what i would say is that python gets things done versus java actually guides you during coding so in terms of community python and java both have a very strong community and there's a lot of support out there you can definitely find a lot of answers from stack overflow or from people who are currently learning either java or python the second part which is job opportunities and it's all about how can you develop your career by learning these two languages I would say that both of them are very popular and both of them are very lucrative when I talked about like computer science and the performance of different programming languages there's a speed difference okay so you are probably not going to experience that you only going to experience that when you are building humongous scalable products or applications and that's why java is more scalable in enterprise applications okay so python is not as scalable as java but there's so many people are using python so if you wanted to check out either python or java in particular framework you can go ahead and check out the um, description down below in this video okay so let's dive into your intentions which means what do you want to do and what is your background and what are you interested in i want to highlight that on top of web development machine learning in general java is more enterprise level and leaning towards more desktop applications that being said java is also having a leverage over mobile development so when it comes to android mobile apps java is the most widely used language to develop android mobile apps there's an other language that is currently trending it's called Colin, and a lot of people are using Colin to create mobile app instead of java but i still think that knowing java gives you the leverage to get into Colin and also getting into just other fields in programming python is really widely used also in web development also in machine learning but on top of that python is really focusing on data science it's more mathematical what i'm saying is that knowing python is probably going to open you up to a lot of opportunities in data science and automations and how do you improve 
business processes by using coding, by using Python. So that is something to think about when you're learning or choosing to learn Python. So I would also say that Python is probably better in game development. Um, I've seen a lot of people are having so much fun using Python to create games. Till today, I think that C Sharp is still the leading coding languages that you should learn if you're considering getting into gaming. But you can also use Python to create games and that is a very popular trend as well. You are confused. You are thinking, what is the bottom line? Which one to learn first? So you gotta look into yourself and think about your angle, right? So think about what fields you wanted to get into, like what excites you the most? What if you don't know about that? That's okay, you don't need to figure everything out. But I'm just saying that it helps you to kind of find your directions if you already know where you're gonna end up or where you're going to in that direction. Um, so it's good to know to have a angle in mind. But if you don't have an angle in mind, what I would suggest is if you're currently going to school for computer science or you have a background in computer science i would recommend to actually go for java just because you have a lot of academic background and support for you to actually get java under your belt however if you're thinking about switching career and you currently have a job that you don't have a lot of time to learn and you're thinking about switching your entire career from something completely different into coding. I would say you might actually find learning Python a little bit easier and more interesting for you. So if you're currently trying to figure out if you should be learning Python or you should be learning JavaScript, I have a video over here that you should click and check it out because I talked about the um, differences between JavaScript versus Python. And if you are more curious about all these top languages that you should be learning or consider learning the top programming languages in 2021 and let me know what you're currently learning because I would love 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 to hear about that Till next time I'll talk to you soon goodbye